So I can't believe the replacement board is in this packaging. So it's basically an envelope. Huh? We'll see. If you don't see those pads on the heatsink, check the old motherboard. You'll want to swap them over to the new one. The new board is black. And it actually took me two days to swap it out. So in this video, I want to share five takeaways that you all should be aware of before you get started swapping your board. The first one is on taking off the side covers. So to do that, you need to remove the, the, the pedals. And to remove the pedals, you have one of two ways to do it. Either hammering out the pedal rods to remove the pedal or just remove the pedal hangers entirely. I find that to be the easier route. Just four screws and you're done. Just make sure you have a hex key that is four millimeters. To me personally, I think removing the pedal hangers is a lot easier than trying to hammer out the pedal rods. So that's number one. Second thing is on the screws that hold the corners of the heatsink. You're going to want to make sure you have a hex key that's skinny and long enough to go into those four corners. And this is where I got held up and so instead of finishing it in one day, I need to break out my task into two days. The second day I had to go get a hex key. And so it took me a little longer than I really wanted to. And the third takeaway are those plastic clips that hold the wires in place. So when you're removing the cables, just be careful with those plastic clips that hold the cables in place. Some of those plastic clips are really just there for polarity reasons. I, I don't even think they're glued to the board or anything. So when you pull the cable out, chances are you to pull the clip out too. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch EV's video. They, they did a really good breakdown on how to do the board swap with the exception of showing you how to check for shorts in the driver board or in the MOSFET I should say. So again those clips just make sure when you're pulling them out you don't break those clips and if you break those clips which I did it's not a big deal. You just got to remember the polarities and put them back the same orientation you took them out of. The fourth one is when you take the driver board out you, chances are you're, you should be able to reuse the same screws and same plastic washers and the takeaway here is be gentle with those plastic washers don't crank away with it especially if you're using a power drill which i was and it just over cranked it and snapped the plastic washers and what that did was it, it didn't create an insulation between the screw and the contact point of the MOSFET. So when you're doing a continuity test, you're gonna see that there's a problem there, it'll, it'll sound off. So you wanna make sure you don't break those plastic screws, just be, be gentle with them. And if you do, no big deal. It should came with a whole new set of screws and washers. And so that's the fourth thing, be gentle with these plastic washers. The fifth thing is it also comes with an insulation strip. You, you shouldn't need to use that if you're able to remove the driver board from the heat sink fine, meaning you didn't damage anything, you didn't pull off anything, so you should be able to reuse it. No need to tear it off and put on the, re the, the new one. Okay. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I'll wait for you. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you. Yep. Those are the five things you should be aware of before you dive in and swap your own board. Before you begin, I recommend reviewing EV's video, and I'll include a link in the description. And if I missed anything, please go ahead and comment below. The rest of the video is just me riding around to see if I might notice any differences. Later on at night, I was able to max out at 37 miles per hour and this is without fancy mode enabled. So far, it seems okay. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Until next time, ride safe.
That was fun. Right, we're also like concerned about this MOSFET telling because if it hits bumps then it falls. So right there. Let's bring up the speed and we'll try and do another heartbreak. Seems okay. Got it on split mode. 75% acceleration and 75% braking. Feels okay. 